Hey y'all, what's going on? It's me, Kevin, with Fit Man Cook. So as you can see, I'm not in my kitchen right now. Can you guess where I am? That's right, I am in beautiful Bermuda. So come with me as I explore Bermuda and take in all the sights, all the activities, and of course, some food and fun in between. Hey y'all, so I'm in front of Island Spice Restaurant. This is one of Bermuda's really popular hot spots. Everyone that I've spoken to so far said, you gotta go eat at Island Spice. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna talk to the chef, and we're gonna find out what makes his food so darn good. All right, come on. Bermudan food is a lot like soul food. Lots of flavor and lots of love. Hey y'all, so I'm here with the owner of Island Spice, Miko. Miko, how you doing? So talk to me a little bit about some of the healthier choices you know, that you try to put, put to your menu. We do a selection of uh, meat substitutes as well. A lot of vegetable dishes. So what's the most popular Bermudan dish that you've been able to kind of make healthy? The jerk chicken on the menu is, is a very popular item. It's prepared healthy. It's, it's a baked item. It's smoked on the grill. Um, real wahoo. That's a very popular item on the menu. And I think that's based on, like I said, a healthier choice. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for right. having us. All the right. food was banging. I okay, appreciate man. that cool. a lot. Chef sent you out to the <laughs> chicken. So you yeah, saw me back there stepping my face with that chicken. Plate to go, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Right. I definitely enjoyed it. I appreciate cool. it very much. Thank you. Speeding through the streets of Bermuda allowed me to not only experience the culture, but also live it. Hey guys, what's going on? So we're out here in front of Crystal Caves, and this is one of Bermuda's hottest spots to come and see, both the on-season and the off-season. And I'm here with Terrence, and Terrence, what are we going to see down there? We're going to be seeing stalactites, stalagmites, getting 135 feet down into the ground of Bermuda. Very gorgeous. Down into the ground thousands of years of history right here. Watch us go. So this is Fantasy Caves. This is a fantasy cave discovered in 1909 by the same two teenagers. Two teenage boys discovered all this. I've got to think that it's no coincidence that buried in the heart of this beautiful paradise is one of nature's greatest creations. Okay y'all, so this is a piece of stalagmite because it grows from the ground up. Um, this is like a couple thousand years of history that I'm holding right here in my hand. It's kind of heavy, it weighs about, I'd say between 50 and 55 pounds. Check that out. Hey y'all, what's going on? So it is nighttime here in downtown Hamilton, Bermuda, yes. and I'm here with Chef Derek Myers of the Barracuda Grill. Chef, 
You know, what are we cooking up tonight? Well, we've got a uh, wonderful guinea chick that's a local product here. It's a family of the spiny lobster, which is super popular in Bermuda right now. So is now. it a really big lobster or is it really Tiny small? Tiny lobster, but oh, packed okay. in flavor. Yeah, it's All right. fantastic. You're going to love it. Okay. I'm going to glaze that with a little rum and citrus glaze, serve it with some uh, shisito peppers, some right. uh, butternut squash, and some grilled uh, artichokes. So okay, we're going to go back starving. and finish and do that. I'm yeah. starving already. Let's go. All right. I can't wait. Add some Bermudan flair, the chef used gosling black rum and fresh citrus zest to coat the guinea chicks. He tossed in some seasonal butternut squash, shishito peppers and artichoke, and the flavors came alive. Look how oh, tender that is, it comes right on out. Not tough at all, you don't need a mallet like you do with lobster <laughs> or anything. Look at that. Okay, so I have to ask you, because my followers, they, you know, they love to cook healthy. Yeah. And chicken breast is one of the main things that they try to make. Yeah. But people, but people struggle with that, and I call it struggle chicken. It's either too dry or like too raw. Right. Can you show us how to make a chicken breast? Absolutely. A lot of people, I think, they, they compensate by putting a lot of oil in, and that they think that's going to stop it, but yeah. you need to have it hot. <laughs> okay. So, a hot so pan with hot a little pan. bit of oil. You don't want to push it. You don't want to hit it. You don't want to beat it up. It's it's let, it's a nice piece of leave it alone and just let it let it good. let it do its thing. That's my uh, info and my guidance for cooking a chicken. Well, I appreciate that, <laughs> Chef. Well, there you have it. Um, thank uh, you very much, Chef, for, here. for having us. I'm gonna go yeah, and finish this meal right now. And this is the Barracuda Grill here in downtown Hamilton. Looking back on day one, Bermuda is beautiful. The skies are clear and blue and the water is like crystal. People are happy, and that enthusiasm for life is shown in every interaction, every handshake, every smile, and yes, every recipe. This is what health looks like. Thank y'all for watching, and for more awesome adventures in Bermuda, check out these videos from a few of my friends.